My common projects, the ones that I got from the last way, because it can be too flashy too soon. I went, oh, is this engine too? Okay, guys. Are we excited? Now. You're not excited? I'm excited. Excited. <laughs> Okay guys, so our trip has officially started. I ended up buying this hoodie yesterday by surprise. <laughs> I'm six feet. Give me six feet. piece here is in like, I guess you end up DFW or like certain places in Texas. It's like a gas station and it's kind of like a novelty store slash like food place slash basically like a big oversized gas station is basically what it is. And so this is the beginning of our Denver vlog, so yeah. The outfit of the day, usually I don't never wear flip flops because, but since we are going to be on the road for 12 hours, I feel like it would be only appropriate to wear it. My little Valentino. I've had these for like two years and since they're black, you can't really see all the wear, but you can see like some of the studs are like not all the way there, like they're like the people like moved, but yeah. So. For my road trip, I'm wearing my Prada multi pochette. I just thought it would be really nice. And then this Balenciaga hoodie that I got yesterday. And then my short trip here are the Lululemon little shorty shorts and then my little Valentino chalk glass. After many hours, guys, it is 1.30. We've been on the road since five in the morning and we are finally here in Colorado. We still have a couple more hours to go to Denver, but I'm super, super excited to finally be here. Y se siente bien. No tengo nada de calor y nada. I feel... to get changed, showered, and put an outfit. Yes. Cassie got a McDonald's Happy Meal, and so she put this little um, toy on my book toe. Right, Cassie? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I can wear my blazers, I can wear everything, and I feel like I'm not gonna, you know, suffocate. So we are here at the hotel as you can see I brought a lot my Ella toe my book toe Some a garment rack and some luggage and then the rest of it is Cass's but here is They gave us free beer. Oh, this is beautiful Yeah, they gave us alcohol and I didn't get ID <laughs> This is our hotel let me oh I really like it the hotel and I like how it's a very open concept. And we can see everything. So yeah. I'm, I can, I'm ready to finally change and do the whole thing. So here's a little place where you can shower. Perfect. Yeah, this is our hotel room. <laughs> I thought you went outside. So now you guys are gonna see me unpack before the um, sun is out. 
So I can kind of do like a little Instagram picture and show like all the little things that I brought. So here's some of the things that I bought. You're gonna notice que a mi me gusta tener muchas mugrero. I always like to overpack. I always like to bring so much stuff. So I brought my little Troy Birch Walker satchel. I brought my Poland handbag. And sorry guys, I'm like literally all over the place. Just as we've been driving for like a lot of hours and then ya me como que me cansé poquito. And then I brought my new single lock handbag, the one that glows in the dark. So this is be really pretty to use at night. I, I, I like this hotel more than I anticipated. A lot more. And then I have some shoes. I have some <laughs> my running A6. Those are actually going to be on the Nordstrom anniversary sale, and I think that these shoes are definitely worth it. Brought my handy dandy Gucci loafers. As you can see, they've been worn so much that they need to get changed out. But I brought those, and then my toe is empty now. Put that down there, and then. I brought my actual luggage. Hopefully nothing got crushed in here. Ugh. This is my remova carry-on and I really like it because it can take such a beating and it just holds up really well. And as you can see, but the, you're gonna see that I'm not a good packer at all. I'm like, are you ready class to see how awful of a packer I am? I'm the same. I'm just like literally the worst packer ever. So like, see it like literally the worst packer ever. Like, I have like shoes, like clothes, underwear. Like it's just all over the place. But hopefully, my pull-in bag didn't get too squeezed. And then I also brought my multi-pochette. Bless you, babe. <laughs> oh, thank you. How excited are you? I'm very excited. What you gonna get? Are you gonna go get Sophia? Yeah, I'm gonna get Sophia. Okay, perfect. Yeah. Is it okay if I see her? Yeah. Okay. Wished a little bit, but it's fine. We'll pop right back out. Hi. My little, my little pull-in bag, and then my little multi-pochette. And then, oh my god, I think I brought four pairs of shoes, oh five, oh my god, that's a lot. So I brought my common projects, the ones that I got from the last call vlog, put those there. It's just like whenever I like to travel, I like to put everything out so I see everything, so I can wear everything. And I may start editing this video, so I'll make sure what I have. And then I also brought my golden gooses. And then I also brought my Dining Dover fanny pack as well. All the bags, everything else is just jeans and stuff. I ordered some glasses from Nordstrom Rack and they came before my trip. So we're gonna take a look at them and you guys let me know if you like them. And if I don't wear them for the trip, I'll consider them. So you guys already know how I own these Isbas in black and I've had them for a year. So I've been wanting some like nice white glasses. I feel like they look so good. Super clean, super polished, super elevated. I know more like a lime green. Balenciaga hoodie, not typically my style, but I saw it and I was like, yeah, I kind of want to have a fun hoodie for the trip. So um, I decided to get this Balenciaga one. I got it on sale, but these are the Abiza for all of our people. And they were $100 retail for $4.44. So I got those. And then I also got another pair, which are somewhere in here, or maybe they're in my other bag. So you can see I'm a terrible packer because then I have to like scramble through everything. I think it's in here. Oh, it's actually not in here. I think it's time through me. Anyway, so the glasses that I got were like a pink Oliver People round. I guess I didn't bring them. I guess my foot on the so Perfect Walker. My white so glow in the dark, my Louis Vuitton multi pochette, my Prada multi pochette, my two pull in bags, my drag me over. I did bring quite a lot for the amount of days we're staying, but you know, I like to take pictures and stuff like that. And then I'm gonna bring my flies, 
and then sneakers you know i love white sneakers golden goose please get asked oh my god do i like them are they comfortable yes these i did literally the first day that i wore them i did not have to break them in they were literally perfect common projects my Gucci's that are so beat up but never got a style and my Asics in case we do any like activities and then my Ella Toe and then I destroyed luggage because I was trying to find the glasses and then um, some clothes here in this um, Nordstrom garment bag my trip so yeah I think I'm gonna organize everything and wait for Cassie to come back I think I'm gonna put a tank top on trim make sure everything is nice and pretty set up and then I got this key little case um, from that Dillard's vlog from a lot, like a couple months ago. And it was literally $10. And this one's super good to travel with. Cute. Do you like it, Sophia? What are it's your reactions? So I love this little middle thing. Oh, we're at this bed facing that. We'll have to take turns with his sticks on this one. Look at that. Perf. It's, so it's like cute. the perfect vlogger. Are you proud of me, Cassie? Yeah, I'm, I'm ready for this. I'm going to put it cool. I'm going to put this on the story first. So for tonight's dinner, the bag that I'm going to be using is my pull-in one. Um, I'm finally going to take off the plastic on it. I haven't taken it off yet. So I'm going to see here with me. Quitar el plástico. And then... Oh my god, the hardware is actually stunning. Like, look at that. It has like a nice kind of gleaming to it. I have it here on tier, but I feel like I'm gonna keep it on there for now. But like, look at the hardware, it's so beautiful. It has like a nice kind of gleam to it, just like here. So I wanna show you what fits in the bag. And so this is the pull-in bag. I'll enter the color and, and this exact same bag in the description box. So the way you open it up is like this, and you just open it up, and all my stuff is here. So I'm just gonna kind of pull out the things that could fit. So first things first is my little wallet and this is my Tory Burch Walker card case my absolute favorite card case currently in my rotation I've been using this since the moment I purchased it and then I also have my Apple AirPods my regular ones some oil blotting shoots because my voice face gets super oily hand sanitizer I have my AirPod Pros another hand sanitizer I feel like you can never have enough hand sanitizers and then I have a Dior lip glow. This is something I've been using since high school. A little sunglass pouch for the sunglasses I'm about to show you. And a little uh, Versace perfume. And I'm also going to be carrying my little um, charger as well. And so for me, I love this bag. I like that you can run your fingers through it. Nada pasa. Like it's okay. Like it can, t it can, like you can wear a little bit more. Look at the hardware. Like look how it kind of gleams. I just posted a picture on Instagram, and one of you guys commented saying how <laughs> I'm gonna make them buy a pull-in bag. So I'll show you the post right now that I posted. So I always tell you guys to follow me on Instagram. So I posted this picture. So shout out to everybody that commented on it. Right here, yeah, they asked me, I'm gonna buy a pull-in bag because of you. Would you recommend the Prada LV? Because I kind of showed the bags that I bought from the trip, which is like the one that I showed you earlier. And one more thing, so I told you about the Oliver People sunglasses. So you guys have been seeing me wear these um, for literally the longest amount of time. The classic black ones, I just feel like they're the perfect shape, the perfect size, perfect everything. So, ended up getting them in white and at first I thought they weren't like the best look but I actually really really like them and yeah that's what I'm gonna be wearing right now the Oliver People this linen knee top from Gap my jeans from Aritzia that I got the Eagle D for $60 my little Golden Goose sneakers and my pull-in handbag but yeah this is gonna be my little outfit of the day did you drop your cell phone? I almost threw my glasses on accident oh my god no we don't want that to happen I know. is stunning the weather is absolutely beautiful
Are you guys hungry? Because I'm so hungry. Starving. I'm starving. I mean, I did eat a little. We all ate like a little bit, but no, nowhere near what we like. We're, we're about to eat. Mm -hmm. Gotta finish dinner. I look crusty. You look so good. Don't say that. Good. Look at her sweater. It's my so cute. Chin. My nipple. <laughs> it's like I love the color. Oh, I know. I was gonna compliment Cassie first. We love your jeans. They're good. They have like a little bit of a nice stretch to it. We love the little shoes too. Thank you. You're welcome. Have a great night tonight. Thank you. It's gonna be gorgeous the next couple days. Thank you. Thank you. Let me straighten my back. Okay. I'm ready. Do you want to say something? No, I'm ready. You just want to sip on that tea? I'm so excited for the next couple of days, guys. I know, me too. It's super pretty outside. That was a big reality question right there. So cute. Don't run into the phone. They're really good. Yeah. The ones in Austin are really good. How excited are you? We got our donuts. Donuts. Pull the donut. Let me try everything. It is about to be 12 and I'm about to have a bed. Routine because I always ask about a lot of the products that I use. So first things first is I'm gonna wash my hands. And then what I'm gonna be cleaning my face with that I brought with me is this little orange and cleanser. And I just like how it's gel for me. My skin really likes a lot of gel products, so I'm gonna put a little bit of it. Yeah. I don't know what I'm doing with skincare. I just literally, I just keep it super clean, super simple, as you're about to see. Cleaning, kind of like exfoliator, a little moisturizer, and I'm done. So let me know if I should add or some of these ingredients are good, or if this is not a good product, I would love to hear your opinions down below because I'm not the best when it comes to skincare. Oh my face. Easy. Then I'm gonna use my Paula's Choice. I've been using this. Um, this is my second bottle of it, and I love it. And I'm gonna be purchasing the jumbo size during the anniversary sale. And then these Esos son los Concierge card pads, and I like them because they're nice and thick. And that can also kind of, you know, if you want to make them into two, you can do that as well. I'm just gonna gently exfoliate my face. The that I've been using currently is the Honest Beauty by Jessica Alba. I got this one at Target, and I've had this for like a month and a half, two months, and um, it's more like that gel consistency, and I like it. So usually I just grab like a good amount, especially during the time, and I'm just gonna slather that all over my face, and that's it. Like I said, sometimes I'll use like an actual like exfoliator, exfoliator, or, like a mask or like lotion, but other than that, I like literally just lather my face, moisturize it, put some on my neck, me lavo los dientes, and like literally, <laughs> that's all I do. It's like nice, easy, simple. And the makeup bag that I'm using is my Dagny Dover. It fits everything. I have my cock pads. I have my little shaving. I have toothpicks. 
And then I have my lipstick, which I didn't even know I had brought a lipstick. It must have been here for a while. And pillow talk. Maybe I may wear that tomorrow, so I have that. And then yeah, just gonna brush my teeth. And um, yeah, I'm gonna end the vlog for today and I'll see you guys tomorrow. I don't know, I always get asked about my skincare routine, but also for the I feel like it's literally the most easiest. Like you can't get any more easier than that. I've heard like other brands of like skincare system, like Curology and stuff. How it's like, supposed to be like for a dermatologist, like they check it and that's it. And then you get like the products prescribed and you just try it out. If any of you guys try that out, definitely let me know because I would love to hear about that. But yeah, I'm gonna go to go to Skies. What is up you guys? It's the next day, so I want to give you a little quick outfit. So sorry, everything's a little bit of a mess right now. So I'm wearing my classic Ray-Ban Sunnies. I'm wearing this Hugo Boss shell that I got um, from Nordstrom. Uh, this is the Suit Studio blazer that I got from my last haul. Um, I'll leave um, my, all my outfits and everything linked down below. I'm wearing some other jeans. And my shoes are my um, Toy Bird sneakers. I always get asked if they're comfortable. Yeah, like these, the first day, I do not have to break them in. And then I'm wearing my Walker satchel today. And I actually, the clichette kind of grown on me, so I'm gonna wear it with the clichette. Are we good to go? A YouTube video uploading. I'm just gonna leave it like that and then hopefully it uploads. We are all good to go. It's so pretty in here. That mean be ya, be yo. I was going to say, she was probably... Yes, who did? Miserable. All the cooking, all the cleaning. What? Yeah. How I take pictures on Instagram, I literally do it all with my phone, or if I use an editing software or anything. Guys, like, I literally just use natural daylight. I don't use filters. I don't pay for filters. I don't even know how to Photoshop pictures. So, for me, like, if I can do, and I can post Instagram pictures, they look pretty decent or okay. A lot of you guys can do it. Like I said, it's literally so easy. Sometimes, once, maybe out of every 10 pictures, may have like a little filter, like to Instagram. But everything else is um, just like natural daylight. And yeah, I'm obsessed with the blazer. Estoy enamorado porque me queda la medida. I like that I have the shell para que no sudo tanto. I love the bag. I'm finally getting getting to get a lot of wear on my Toy Birch Walker satchel. And I just love this entire outfit. I'm obsessed with it. So look how beautiful that is. Sergio looks amazing. A non-biased comment. <laughs> Agreed from a subscriber here with myself. <laughs> now this is gorgeous. This is where I took a picture over there. And like look. I can literally sit here for hours and hours. I just love the weather here in Colorado. It's está muy bonita. Under this mask guys, don't you think I'm not smiling? <laughs> Thank you so much, girl. It's pretty good. Mm. Not as sweet as I anticipated, but I like it like that. Ready? So we're 
Yeah. Look at my little friend right here. <laughs> Just swimming along. There goes his friend to follow each other. And then the other one's just straight chilling. And now it's gonna go join them. So they're all gonna be reunited. What's up guys, so now we are eating lunch and we are right here and I got a little mar margarita pizza and Cassie's gonna help me eat it because this is quite a lot for me to eat. Thank you. What did you get? I got some salad. I'm getting it for Are you gonna Hello. help me eat this pizza? Um, uh, nothing. They couldn't deliver it. How <laughs> looks like outside in a second. Okay. Mm. You know stuff? all about cheese. This one's huge. Maybe a little. It's actually like amazing. Like, that salad yeah. looks so good. Such a good idea. Salad. Yeah, me too. And then this is the view of our hotel. We are eating at the rest of the little view right here. As you can see that little plane is moving out as well. The little outfit change. So we just left the Denver Art Museum. I really liked it. Um, definitely one of the parts of it was very relevant to what's happening right now. And it's just kind of interesting how everything kind of comes back around. What do you think? I agree. It was, it was, it was, it, uh, not, was that the Norman Rockwell was what we visited. This one I feel like had the biggest impact on me today. I think it just, it, it, just re, it just it just shows how things kind of happen. This museum's my favorite. They have everything I could possibly ever want, and I appreciate it. It's such a beautiful museum. Should have came here to begin with. I told you we were gonna go at 801 Chop House. That's where we're gonna be eating. This is the um, Neiman Marcus. There's a Nordstrom here. Look how beautiful that restoration hardware is. So I will be here all day tomorrow, which I'm super excited. You guys always know this is always my favorite part of any trip is the shopping. I'm finally <laughs> taking out my little Why So Glow in the Dark bag. Projects, mother jeans, equipment, shirt, and broad could be your blazer, but I'll show you guys that later. But yeah, we're gonna go ahead and enjoy some nice dinner. And I literally cannot wait to be here tomorrow to see what to shop. Why is my camera like that? Our food, so I got a 12 ounce steak. Sophia got the same thing too. And then what did you end up ordering? A lemon with black truffle butter. And then I got the black mashed potatoes, the asparagus. 
looks delicious. I cannot wait to eat this. I ended up getting a drink. I, you know what's so funny is that I never end up getting ID'd, never. But I ended up getting a drink and I feel like a little tipsy, just like a little bit. And so I'm wearing my white, so I cannot wait to take a picture outside when it's glowing in the dark. But yeah, are you guys, are you ladies ready to eat? Because I am. Starving. I am starving. Ready. <laughs> So we just had finished having dinner. You saw me for a couple of minutes tomando fotos. Ya sabes como me gusta tomar fotos bien perfectos. Uh, soy como Luna Quito. Tomame foto si, sí, tomame foto ya. Yeah. I'm like, uh, I said I wanted to come out perfect. And yeah, that's why I tend to be a little bit picky, or not even picky, I just tell you, I just tell them to like, you know, just take a bunch of them, and I usually just pick out one or two that I honestly like, and I call it a day, but ya está chispeando. And, yeah, but I think I look good for my dinner. My hair's a little bit messed up now, but I had a good dinner. 801 Chop House was pretty good. I liked it. And now, vamos a ir por postre, because that's my, obviously that's my favorite part. Es comer postre y mañana regresaremos aquí a Cherry Creek a ver qué encontramos. Chispeando! So we are here starting off the day eating breakfast. Are you guys excited yeah. for the day? <laughs> Today is Sergio's day. And you know what we do in Sergio's day. Sergio's day is a comer, ir de compras, y mirar todo lo que tiene. So I'm so excited. So this is what I got. I got avocado toast with eggs. And then I got a little fruit danish. And I got a little lemonade because right now I can't handle coffee because then I'll be such a crazy mess. And I know whenever we get to Cherry Creek, I will literally... Once I have coffee, I will literally go crazy, and you can see me right there. Hola. I'll be giving you outfit and everything later today. But yeah, I'm so, so excited to go to Cherry Creek, go to North Mac, and do the whole shebang, because there's a lot, a lot of stuff to get done. Hey guys, I'm so excited. We are finally here, Sergio's day, Cherry Creek. No soy la mera verdad lo que quiero mirar. I honestly don't know. I think I'm just honestly gonna wing it. But I'm so excited. So there's a Macy's, a Neiman's, and a Nordstrom. And yeah. Is this glass? Um, no, I, think, I don't know, honestly. Look how beautiful that little sunglass hut section is. Like different retail and different markets, it's always so interesting for me. I've always like, look here, they have little origins. No tech, no store that I've been to in Texas has an Origins counter in a Macy's. Okay, this is giving me very Stonebriar vibes. This is very Stonebriar vibes. Not what I was expecting, but this is very Stonebriar vibes. Uh, it literally gives me like Stonebriar vibes. That's what it literally looks like. Look at the little sunglass boutique. It's very homey right now. I've seen one of these in a long time, the body shop. Aw, I'm sorry about this clothes. How are we gonna function? Here in Denver, they have Chloe Balenciaga. I'll give you an after the day later. So they have some Chloe face. They have them in the classic tan color, black, the modern gray color, this new color that I haven't seen. There is a Prada boutique in here. Oh, they don't have any of the reissue bags. Oh, they had this one at Saks office when I was there last time. And then they have a Chanel boutique. stock of golden gooses they have some superstars but they have like a lot of them they have some pedro garcia just my foot is too wide that that's why i'm too like little sandals like this might be are way too wide 
And then here's like the one that I have, but in the gray color. I love these. I think these are. Good. Thank you. Good. Classics, but I feel like they. Um, I would like those. I would wear like 100. I would wear those. The word ones with the taconchito. I would literally like wear them. Yeah. Like, if I had a, if my foot wasn't as wide, I would probably wear those. Yeah. Cuchinelli. Oh yeah, they do have cuchinelli. No, I love the camel color. I know. It's like the perfect luggage. Okay. And we have some Michelle watches. Oh, I love Michelle watches. The one that I have is right here, this one. And I think Michelle watches are always worth the money. Go look at the woman's clothing. Like, that's so sad. There's like only two Balenciaga shoes. Like, only two. Do the Chanel Boutique, a Prada, and a Bottega. And they have some fine jewelry, the shoe. They didn't really have a lot of shoe stuff. Some Tata Harper skincare, <laughs> Chanel, Giorgio Armani. We're too hard on ourselves. It's very traditional in here, not what I was expecting in here. What do you think? I was expecting to look a little bit more modern, but it's a very traditional, yeah. traditional department store. Yeah, no, it's <laughs> and then they have this beautiful Tom Ford counter. Look how gorgeous that is. It just looks so interactive, like I want to shop it. Look at all these Tom Ford glasses, all of the people, Celine, and then Uggs, MCM. Oh, they even have some Rebecca Minkoff, Lisa Dolly, Burberry soft accessories. Like a mink off bag. And they have a bunch of belts Dolce Gabbana, Prada, Ferragamo, YSL for um, $45. What? Oh, oh, there's Chanel ready to wear here. I'm gonna take a little video for my Snapchat. I mean, for my Instagram account. That's why I show you guys to follow me on Instagram because you get to see everything. Chanel boy bag. Your luggage. No, I love that shirt. This is so cute. Everyone loves that shirt, but it's stayed. Don't buy it. This is old. It's just like. Those $1,700. That's expensive. That's yeah. like three bucks. It's so pretty. I love the new hangers. Are these the new hangers? I thought they were like. I thought they had this cold season. No, this is like for the. All the stuff that you're going to show in person, like, on the rack. And then when you purchase when it, you get there. Yeah, when you purchase it, you get there. No, there's a green one. There's a blazer. That's really cute. Oh, I love this with this detail right yeah. here. Everyone like that piece whenever they finish it. Oh, these are... <gasps> Those are cute. These are so cute. Look at the little, like... Those are like, adorable. No. This top is beautiful too. Look at the sweater with the beautiful little CCs on it. Those me look the same Hello. No, we're just looking around. Okay. Thank you. I see like, some, I love this outfit though. Yeah. The button detail. That bag with Really? Oh, we feel like for me, you siempre siento que like clothes and stuff is really easy to show in department stores because there's like so much of it. So they have this huge Montclair section. I don't know if, so I like Montclair jackets. I think they're worth the money. So I don't know, I, don't know if, I think I saw it told you guys in a haul. So basically, Basically, it's like this one, right? But super long, and I got it for seventy percent off. And the sales during um, lockdown, so I'm super excited to wear it in the winter. And I just like Montclair. I definitely feel like you, if you can't, you have to style it a certain way because it can be too flashy too soon. But all of these were, at, you know, what's so funny that all of these were at the last call in Dallas. These ones. 
this one here, but I feel like the Matu wouldn't last as long. This Poon's tooth one, gorgeous, the fabric. What do we think about Mon Do you like Montclair? You know I bought this one for 70% off during lockdown. I love this. But it's like even more long. Like it goes it, up to right here. I love a long one. No, like that one. The leopard one? No, the, 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 oh, no, the one. This one? Uh -uh. Oh, these are the new performance yeah. ones. I haven't seen these in person. Oh, I very Chanel. One. Like very love. I know, that's why I like it. Have all the Montclair jackets locked up. I guess it's a very, I mean, hit item. So it's full of cinema bottles. And they have more of the core ones here. And then they have some Montclair jackets on sale. Acris, Oscar de la Renta. Oh, look at the Burberry clothes. Mm -hmm. They have a pretty decent stock of Burberry. I've always loved this shirt when I saw it. I just think it's like the most, and I'm not really a pink person to wear a lot in person. Oh, but look, que, que bella esta esta. It's absolutely gorgeous. This one's super soft. I don't know how I feel about seeing Burberry around the jacket, but it's gorgeous. Three polos. I like the little corduroy detail. Classic trench coat. Ooh, I like this too. Sweet 90. This is gorgeous. It has a, a nice weight to it. Got some Giorgio Armani ready to wear. Eero, more special occasion. They have a lot. So how much is something? Three. Oh, look at these face masks. They're like beautiful, they're like lacy. <laughs> I like this. They have a lot of St. John. Leather and pure mini jackets. A lot of sell special occasion. Lafayette 148. Hello. I'll circle back through here in a second. I want to go to more my style, which is um more of like the contemporary that's like my favorite second level entrance is closed so there's only one entrance oh and then they have more active and like canada goose up in the front not the whole circle but i kind of want to we'll start here and then i'll just circle back around a lot of equipment tops silky really good material eileen fisher what I like about all Eileen Fisher is that's very clean and very, very minimal. Johnny Was. I'm not sure how I feel about Johnny Was. Definitely not for me, but I can see somebody else wearing it. I can see my mom wearing Johnny Was because she likes free people. So I feel like it's kind of like kind of the same, maybe not the same. And they have like a lot of Eileen Fisher and Johnny Was. I actually have a shirt from them. I got it at, at a store in Dallas, like a Stanley Korshak. And I got it for like literally $50 from like three something from them. They have more like cashmere's. They have so much Canada Goose. And then this is like the jacket that I have. I literally about to have have it for two years. Um, I got it on sale for like four hundred dollars. And it's like literally like a core item. I would never sell mine because it's just a classic. And they have more little Canada Goose. See, I like Denver because there's a lot of outerwear. I'm a very out of wear type person. Very trench coats, and then they have all these from this brand. And they have literally a lot of them in this color. They have leopard, metallic, pinks. Like, this literally looks like one comforter. <laughs> That's how humongous it is. First level. Yeah. That's the first level. All this aloe sportswear. Mm -hmm. J brand, AG rag, 
cage, this little frame type crock. They have a lot of sale stuff. But no egg will be. These are quite cute. That's very in right now. That type of style. That, that leopard, <laughs> we're twins. Almost twins, Vanessa. This one's gorgeous. 270. This is very mean with the crystals on it. 52. I like this one with these silver. 